Welcome back, kids and not kids. Whatever you want to call yourself. So we're still working on the 05 Alpac XT. This is uh, 2005. This applies to any of the 2005-2009 turbo engines in either the Forester, the Outback, the Legacy. They're all essentially the same engine. Slight different variations. The EJ255, 256, 257. Um, so what we're working on right now is, if you kept up with the series of these videos, if you're digging into the timing belt specifically or you found the video you're looking for, we've already got the accessory belts off. Uh, we've already removed the radiator um, and the fans. Dumped all that coolant out, just spilled it on the ground, made a huge mess. No, actually watch the video, we, we didn't make a huge mess. So, right now we're going to get to moving on to getting the crank pulley off. So, that's always a fun one. There are about three ways you can do this. Three ways. One, get yourself a, uh, a harmonic balancer tool. These are generally referred to as harmonic balancers. There's a tool you can get that slides into these little holes on the side here. And... Put it on and you can put a socket in the middle and it'll let you hold this while you rotate your ratchet, your breaker bar, whatever, and bust this nut free. Yes, bust that nut free. That's option one. Option two, per, I'm not going to grab it, per the Haynes manual, you can use a chain wrench. You put a piece of old belt around your crank pulley, put a chain wrench on it, which is just a grip with a chain on it. It's kind of like a oil filter grabber. Hold it, hold it tight. Break the nut loose. It's not a nut. It's a bolt. I'm sorry, guys. Break the bolt loose. So those are your two options. Or three. I don't want to go to an auto parts store, rent a tool, bring it here, do the work, take it back, get my card transaction refunded in cash. So instead, I am going to remove the intercooler. <clears throat> this intercooler is mounted with three, one two, three 12 millimeter bolts, two into the turbo, one into a bar mount here that is secured with two 12 millimeter bolts here. You don't need to remove those, but you know. This is your recirculator valve. Pull that hose off. Shouldn't be any clips on it. If there are, they're usually just the banjo type. This guy right here is gonna have a banjo clip on it. Squeeze that guy. And while you're squeezing it, you gotta pull this off. This will not stay on this hose after you let go because this is a really soft, malleable hose. So let's set that aside. And we got those off. Down there is a flathead, uh, sorry, pipe something. Forget what those pipe, pipe clamp. Yeah, that's what they're called. Flathead or 8 millimeter. Loosen that, and that will loosen the grip on the intercooler itself to the intake manifold. And then once all that is off, this guy, it's going to be tight because it's still held on by the rubber here. And you wiggle it loose. <sighs> Try not to smash up your intercooler. It's always a good plan. I've got your intercooler. Bippity do. Here's mine. If yours looks like mine and has a blown uh, turbo bearing seal, there's oil inside of it. Hooray. Don't worry, it's on the list. It's on the list. So, now we've got open access to the top of the bell housing. And we need that, because there is a peephole into the transmission. And what it has on top of it, it's not gonna look like that. It's got this little plastic cover on it. Looks like that. Got a little finger grab on it. Pull it up and wiggle it a little bit, and it'll come right out. It's just a slide-in clip. It's a hard piece of plastic. It gives you access to the flywheel. Now, unlike on the other Subaru versions before this, you would normally see the teeth right here. Can't see the teeth. They're inside. Um, there's an extremely tight clearance between the teeth and the bell housing. So, you need something that can go in there, get locked into the teeth, and press against the side of this peephole, and then break the bolt loose. So, I don't have any right angle screwdrivers, but I do have right angle pliers. So what I did, I came back here, stick this guy down in there, got one of the 
one of the teeth locked in there, held it in place, applied some pressure, and while I was holding that with my left hand, came over here with a 24 inch breaker bar and a, what's that called? 22 millimeter socket impact. I prefer impact, you don't need impact. Uh, I suggest 24 inch breaker bar. These things are a real MF to get off with an 18. I don't think you can get it off very easily with a ratchet, like a half drive ratchet. That's just gonna be a challenge. If you're in for a challenge, be my guest. I've done enough of these that I'm not for a challenge. I'm just looking to get it done. So that's it. Breaks the bolt loose. Come down here. Get that guy out. So I don't, I don't really need to go into all this right now, but you know, I got a lot of comments about visual learners. Thanks guys for the comments. I appreciate them. I'm sorry the videos have progressively gotten longer, but if you guys really want to see each individual step, this is what it takes. And I would encourage you, you know, I'm sure a lot of you people who are willing to comment on videos like this um, follow a bunch of other pages as well. Uh, let the people know that are doing this kind of stuff, like, uh, um, oh, what's, what's it called? Uh, My Fix Book. Um, it's another good one. Ah, uh, the V-Dub guys, they're good too. I can't remember their name right now. I watch a few channels. Um, even like the Donut Media guys, they're not quite the skilled mechanical set, but uh, they give you the free ability to watch them try to figure it out. And, you know, for stuff like this, you're obviously looking for a specific video. Just let the people know that it's worth their time because making these videos for you guys to... There's your bolt, 22 millimeter bolt. It's a good time to check the threads, see if they're damaged, see if someone's gone like, hey, I want to make this real tight, and pull the threads. Looks good. Smells like oil. Don't think that, no, that's fine, because it looks like it was just the grease that they used to put it on. Making these videos for you guys takes about three to four times as long for me to do these repairs. Sometimes they're personal vehicles, sometimes they're other people's vehicles. Most of the time, I'm not paid for it. And... You know, I'm not looking for some mass amount of praise. Just so you guys know, that's what it takes to, to do these videos. Half the time when I come in here, like you saw on the intercooler, I've already taken it apart, set everything back together so you guys can see, especially for you commenters who are very visual learners. You want to see where everything is. You want me to call out the sizes. Um, I will suggest again, if you're really getting into do-it-yourself on any type of uh, combustion engine vehicle, as they're still pretty common, Impact tools. I've got my DeWalt 3 8 drive impact and my DeWalt half drive impact. They make a world of difference. They save all the effort of trying to break these tight things loose. But kind of leading past the point, we did what we needed to. We got the bolt out of the crank pulley or harmonic balancer. Now what you would do is uh, you just kind of wiggle this back and forth until it comes free. If it's a little tight, you can get a rubber mallet and knock it back and forth, and it should wiggle right off of the crank itself. When we come back, we'll get into taking out the uh, alternator, this guy right here, clear up some space to start getting into the time belt housing. Uh, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. You know, it's been great to watch the subscribers grow. I appreciate the love and attention, guys. I really do. Um, as always, you guys want to see specific cars, specific repairs, let me know. I can't always make that happen because of uh, some of the stuff going on in my personal life. But I try to make it happen for the people who really want to know. Stay strong, YouTube community. And as always, do it yourself if you can. And if you can't, find a YouTube video. Thanks for watching.